Tonight's big story at 10, the local aviation community mourning the loss of two men killed in a plane crash. 40-year-old Jeremy Manette, CEO of Sonics Aircraft, and 20-year-old Michael Clark died when their experimental plane went down yesterday near Whitman Regional Airport. Those who knew Manette say he was a very energetic man with a passion for flying. It's uh, not well. It's rough. Um, we're, uh, we're a family. Clark was a graduate of Fox Valley Technical College. The school released a statement greeting, quote, the staff and student community are deeply saddened by the loss of its graduate, Michael Clark. Federal transportation investigators are now looking for a cause of this crash. This as we learn more about home-built aircraft, and in this case, Sonic's experimental planes. NBC 26's Alex Hagen is live at 10 with more. Stacy, questions may arise tonight about home-built aircraft, but aviation experts say planes like the small engine Sonics are indeed safe. As the cause of the crash remains a mystery. It's not a fun thing to see. Planes usually fly pretty low there, and it's just, it's just a tragic thing to happen. The plane in question seems to be one of the more well-known experimental aircraft. Gotta love this thing. Just gotta love Seen it. here, piloted by Jeremy Manette. Designed by John Manette, who also designed the Sonics. Dick Nipinski at EAA says they are sturdy and safe. The Sonics in specific is one of the five most popular home-built kits any place in the world. Uh, very dependable, very time-tested design. Nipinski adds there are fewer than 50 accidents yearly worldwide involving home-built aircraft, a number he calls relatively small. Well, the aircraft have to be inspected every year or every 100 hours of flight, whichever comes first. On a final note, no matter what the outcome of the investigation is, Nipinski says there isn't a better person to fly a Sonics plane than Jeremy Manette. Now, Nipinski adds out of the roughly 10,000 planes at EAA AirVenture, about 1,000 of them are home-built aircraft. Alex Hagan, NBC26.